Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to create metadata for third-party poses that you can find on websites like Renderosity. Uh, I'll be using a couple assets from there today. Uh, one quick note on why I'm doing this. I am relatively new to DAZ, and like a lot of people, hopefully, probably, um, I went looking for some free stuff before I decided to purchase uh, a lot of things that I may or may not need uh, as I go down this path. This is more of a hobby for me. I have a, an IT background, not a artist or a modeling background. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of particular about the way I set stuff up. One of the things that I noticed is that the content library can become kludgy uh, if you add a lot of things. Now right now the only thing that's in here are the uh, starter, the essential stuff, except for one product that I'll, I'll demonstrate here in a second. Um, so I have pretty much zeroed out Data Studio so that it's like a fresh install. Um, that's just the way I play. It's how I set up my sandboxes. So one of the things that I found was there's a lot of information out there on how to create metadata for other items, but not so much for poses. I, I spent about four days looking, and uh, aside from one website that has an issue, I couldn't find anything and eventually I, w I, I went back to that website uh, and it is right here and let me go ahead and get it started so it's like you just landed on the page and the issue with this site was that as I was trying to read the information it kept reloading and you know standard on the internet is if something's broke you just go find it someplace else. Well, there was no place else to find this information. So I came back to the page and I found that if you just simply click stop, uh, whatever it's trying to load, whatever resource no longer exists, uh, because this is an older post from 2012, uh, it causes the page to reload constantly. But by using this walkthrough, even though it is for a, a much older version of Dash Studio, I was able to get to about 70% of what you're about to see. The rest of it came from the Dash uh, 3D uh, documentation uh, that made a lot more sense once I went through this process. So kudos to Alex, even though it's eight years later, uh, from 3ddsaddict.com. Uh, there will be a link in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing that you need, just, just so we can see what's going on, is we want a Genesis 8 female. So we got to go ahead and load her in here. And to show you that this process works, I've already gone ahead and installed uh, third-party metadata for B-Barb's teen, or just teenagers, too. So these poses came from uh, B-Barb's over at Renderosity. And to show you that they work, uh, they are geared for the teen body form. Uh, I've got an adult loaded in, so it's giving me the limits notifications and you can see that they do work go ahead and set her back to neutral and let's get on with our own content creation from another provider over at uh, Renderosity uh, by the name of Itazura so this individual has several free poses that are out there for general general public use and I went and downloaded them and each one came in a separate zip folder I took the contents of those folders and I compiled them into one folder. So when you go into the working folder here now, I've got one folder. I copy that folder. And we need to place it where Daz expects <coughs> the pose contents to be. Excuse me. And that would be under My Daz 3D Library, People, Genesis 8 Female, Poses. Hit Paste. Poses are all there. We can collapse this down. Now, in order for Daz to know where it's at, we have to get it into the content library. So in order to do that, we go up here, click on Content Library tab, come up here to the Display Options for this pane, and let's go Scan Known Directories for Files and hit Accept. Now, it expands out the Categories Default section. We come down here to Scan Results. We go to People, Genesis 8 Female, poses and you'll see that Itazura is now within the content library itself. The next step that we need to do is we need to create 
a product from these files so that when we're building the metadata we, we, we'll get the, 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 the correct um, information where it belongs. So right click on the, the containing folder and we're going to create a product from. Here's where we will name our product. So Itazura and then we're going to go Genesis get that mouse out of the way. Genesis 8 female. Well actually let's let's poses. Wow, that's new. Wouldn't let me hit the space bar. Poses for Genesis 8 female. Alright, so we now have E to zero poses for Genesis 8 female. This is going to be our product. We hit accept. And now we can now close categories. Go to products. And this is where that's at. Now we also need to create a category that will fall in line with default poses. And we want it to come in here under other. And we want it to reside here. So in order to do that, select it again. My preference, I like to um, select everything have a visual representation, but in this case you do need to select all the files. Once you've selected them all, right click, categorize, and we're going to go to poses. We're going to go to other, and we want an e to zero folder to sit out here. So I'm going to right click, create a category path, give it a hash mark, forward slash, e to zero, now you can create further um, categories if you want. For example, these are adult poses. So let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and give that an adult. And when you, once you click OK, once you've typed this in, you now have where the other is. We have Itazura and adult. Click accept and we collapse the products. If we come down here to default, we come to poses, other, we go to e to zero, adult, and that's where those files live as far as a category goes. Okay, now we need to begin creating our smart, uh, our, our, our metadata so that we can add this and it will appear down here for the Genesis 8 female. Once again, I do this mainly for myself for visual representation. I know what I'm working on. So select all my files. And I'm going to do this out of the products. So select all files. Come up here again to the um, display options for the active pane and basically the menu. Let's click on that and we're going to go to the content database editor. This screen that pops up has two tabs. First tab being the product tab. Uh, let's go over each one of these fields and what you can and can't change. Now, for the store field, there is a drop down and it gives you two choices the local user and the DAS 3D. As far as I can determine, um, it, it's essentially where did you buy your, your, your content from. Um, it doesn't change the file location where it's going to be placed or anything like that. It literally will just change and since this is set to autofill, if you watch right here, all it does is change that information there. Doesn't change the location where your metadata is going to be stored. Doesn't change anything else. Um, I prefer to leave it as a local user that way I can quickly identify what I've what I've purchased from DAS 3D, the, the website, and what I've gotten from third-party content providers just by that alone, a visual representation of the files. So we'll leave this as local user. Global ID is something that's automatically generated. It's already been generated for us. You can regenerate it again if you like. There's really no point to. Uh, the name is what we set when we set our product. It is our poses for Genesis 8 female. Description, you can put anything you want to in here. Uh, just left click, 
um, you know, let's do poses for Genesis 8 female by Itazura from renderosity.com. Now, unlike the description pane where you can just click in here and start typing, the artist pane, you have to right click and add an artist. So we'll go ahead and add Itazura since he was kind enough to give us these poses. The support runtime, you could try and fat finger that in, type it in yourself. I would I would highly recommend that you keep this autofill on. At this point, there's nothing that we can do down here. Actually, there will probably not be anything that we can do down here, but let's just leave that alone. Now we're going to go to the Assets tab. In here are all the different files, the DUF files, that are going to be used to generate the metadata. There's a few things that we have to do before we can do that. First one being select all the files and for those of you that may or may not know uh, select one hold the control key down hit A that selects everything our path is people Genesis 8 female poses E to zero that's in our that's where the files live in the my dad's 3d library we need to set the type so this is a preset and it is a pose there's nothing else that we can add here for these particular poses. Uh, if they are hand poses, uh, you can use those. Um, hierarchical, cookal, <laughs> um, not so much. So at this point, these are just presets that we're going to load in. Come down here and click accept. If you don't click accept, if you if you wander off of it somehow or another, um, it will default back to none. So make sure that you click preset, click pose, click accept. So now the type set is the type is set to preset and pose. Audience in this case is adults. I believe you could I, you could set it to teens and it will work for both body forms, but this these specifically, especially the way we created our um, our, our our path earlier, this is set for adults. So underneath categories we don't need to worry about this that's done tags you can add tags if you like description uh, I don't really see a need for either one of these user words or user notes same thing I, I really don't see a need at the moment however compatibility has to be set if you want this to show up in your smart content correctly so once again select one of them hit control a select them all and right here where it says not declared down arrow declared as come over here to your database and just make sure that Genesis 8 female is chosen now if for whatever reason uh, it doesn't do that you can you can browse to it if you know that that's the particular model that you're going to be using or whichever model you're going to use if it doesn't set it automatically go ahead and browse to that go ahead and click accept so at this point we've got our path set we've got the preset pose set the audience which is the figure that we'll be acting on is set we have our compatibility set we're gonna go back to product real quick so I can show you what happened now over here all of our assets are listed shows the compatibility base for the Genesis 8 female we have our runtime which is auto filled from what we've got set up here the product name description uh, artists, global ID, I did forget one thing. Now, <coughs> each DAS 3D product comes with uh, a, a lead-in, and I believe it's IM G maybe, and then a bunch of zeros, and then the product ID, followed by a hyphen, and then the product name with a bunch of underscores. Uh, you do not have to do that. But what I do like to do is I will add Rendo knowing that it's coming from renderosity and then I'll give myself five leading zeros and since this is the second package that I'm bringing in from renderosity I went ahead with the number two at this point we are ready to generate our uh, metadata content and if it works as expected we'll see it populate in down here and that will be pretty much the end of the tutorial so let's click accept it shows you where it is exporting 
the metadata files to, and I'll show you that folder in just a second. We click on OK. Everything blinked a little bit. We go here to Other. And now we have an integer category, and we have an adult category. And we have now created the metadata for our integer poses and the smart content. Now, just for those of you that are curious about what exactly just happened, what got created, underneath your local store, underneath that local store, it just created and here it just created these two files that contain the metadata. As you'll see, it's local user, which is the store that we set. Here's the token ID that I created. Here is the name and it's all done correctly. As you'll see, this is what we have from earlier when we created the uh, metadata from, from BBARS before this tutorial started. So, um, I hope this helps you. I hope uh, it will uh, assist you in getting your smart content set the way that you like it. For those or any of you who may have had an issue and this did not work correctly, I have found that sometimes uh, it's rare, but for whatever reason, uh, the pose tags don't show up. Um, there are times when it, it just nothing, nothing, nothing worked the way it was supposed to. It doesn't matter whether I follow the steps meticulously each time. Um, it just didn't show. So for those of you that have that issue, I, I would recommend uh, looking at the other tutorial that I have on my channel. Uh, that explains how to reset your DAS 3D database back to zero uh, so that you can start with a known good uh, system before you try and recreate metadata again. Um, I tried earlier to recreate metadata over a failed creation and the more I tried the worse it got. So that's the purpose for the second. Uh, it's only if needed um, but I have found that I do like to zero out my database and then just load those assets that I need for whichever scene that I'm working on. Um, it, keeps, it keeps everything nice and neat, and uh, I can show you how to do that in the, in the next tutorial. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, if it helped you out, please hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment uh, if you have any questions uh, or any concerns about what, you, what the process that you just saw. And uh, I'll try and get back to you just as fast as I can. Thanks again. Happy rendering.